you know, the fact though is many believe, uh, Nalin Kohli, that you need an Asaduddin OVC because the BJP's comfort zone is Hindu-Muslim politics. You tried backward caste politics in Telangana, but it's not worked now. Of course, you're saying that if you come to power, you'll have a backward caste chief minister, but you removed uh, a, a, a leader from the backward caste as your state president. The question arises, does the BJP need an Asaduddin OVC kind of figure to constantly demonize and claim he's the sole spokesperson of all Muslims. He claims I do work for everyone within Hyderabad, not just for Muslims. But you need an Asaduddin OAC. Does that strategy really work for you south of the Vindhyas, trying to demonize him in some manner? We don't need him. And why should we? Our agenda is what Prime Minister Modi's government is consistently working. Development, development, development. So why don't we pick up the Congress and we pick up the BRS and we pick up Mr. Oasis' party, the AIMIM. And let's actually map, and it'll be good with your data team, to map how infrastructure and infrastructure projects under the BJP and Prime Minister Modi's vision versus each one of them. And I can bet you whether it's highways, whether it is other things, the BJP is ahead. Because the pace is to somehow overcome the slow lethargic pace of development that we saw under successive Congress governments and their supporters and allies for a period of almost 50, 55 years. Mm -hmm. At one time, we don't demonize it. The Hindu world is not, or no, the Muslim you, part. No, but These are not creations of the BJP. We didn't come up with no, the name. No, but you will recall, just, sir, me, sir you, Mr. Kohli, you will recall. Come up with any. Mr. Kohli, just to stop you for a moment, you will recall, sir, you, you say that the BJP wants to fight elections on development infrastructure on the Prime Minister's vision. But we saw even in Karnataka, in the last stretch, the campaign became about Bajrang Bali. It didn't work. Now you're making the campaign... BJP leaders like Hemant Biswas Sarma come here to uh, uh, Telangana or Hyderabad, don't talk you, about infrastructure. They talk about so what did Akbaruddin OVC say, what did, uh, you know, you, it almost seemed that you make Mr. OVC larger than life. He's only restricted to seven constituencies, but the BJP wants to see OVCs everywhere. He isn't, as T.S. Sudhir said, he's hardly the sole spokesperson of all Muslims, even in this state. <laughs> So, Mr. Ovesi perhaps desires to be larger than life. Why would we want him to be larger for, than life? His brand of politics and the BJP's brand of politics are two different poles. Now let me come. You've taken Dr. Hemant Vista Sarmaji's name three or four times in your show. The fact of the matter is, and mm -hmm. I can say this with a sense of uh, knowledge because I am associated with Assam. Please visit Gohati and see the pace of work of, mm -hmm. say, flyovers or bridges or the work otherwise that's happening in terms of one lakh jobs 80,000 already given pending for decades I mean it's unbelievable at the space at which infrastructure in Guwahati city is changing and that's only as an example but it's not as if the rest of Assam is not happening so therefore if you are looking at Dr. Sarma's work it speaks for so, itself. I, sir, you I am in a, a city, I am in a city where infrastructure has dramatically improved. You take that one sentence and say this sir, is I what it a, stands I'm, for. I am also in a city where... Hmm? Sorry? Sure, but I am also in a city where infrastructure has dramatically improved. Hyderabad in many ways is, is showing the kind of growth that we want to see in many of our cities in terms of improved infrastructure. But I, Mohan Kumara Mangalam... You know, you say that the Congress is not making this election about Hindu-Muslim. But when you had your my, uh, manifesto, there was a minority declaration. There was, uh, uh, the Congress claimed we will give 4,000 crores more for minority welfare. Uh, the BRS, for its part, has a Shadi Mubarak scheme under which a Muslim uh, girl, when she gets married, uh, gets 1 lakh uh, rupees in her bank account. So... There seems to be a competition for the minority vote. Offer them SOPs. You say it's not Hindu-Muslim, but you want that uh, Muslim vote about 15%. And in many, many constituencies, it's way above that. So all of you are competing for that vote, Mohan. Najib Ji, we didn't just have a minority declaration. We had a BC declaration. We had an SCST declaration. And overwhelmingly, what we've been talking about throughout the state are about the six guarantees that we're giving to all people. 
I mean, of course, depending on what guarantee we're talking about, but those six guarantees have been sort of our headline when we're going and campaigning with the masses. Yeah, and we've had all these separate declarations, so please don't make us out to be someone who are only trying to seek the minority votes. Having said that, I agree with you, they are a, a significant percentage in the state, and I think their voting determines, if I'm not wrong, bit about 40 to 45 seats out of the entire 119 assembly. Mm -hmm. So yes, they are important. As far as BRS schemes goes, whether it was Shadi Mubarak or whether it was the scholarship that we were giving to Muslim students, this very same Asuddin Oasi was criticizing these schemes about six months ago. And if you go down on the ground, you will see that many of the schemes that BRS propounded never came to fruition. Why the real question to ask uh, Rajdeep Ji and Nadeep BJP out of this, because like I said, they're not really in the contest here at all, is that in the first two elections, in the last two elections rather, when TRS won, the Muslim community voted overwhelmingly for them. But this time, the Muslim community has moved completely away from the TRS. And I promise you, when the results come out, you will see that just as in Karnataka, the minority community, community overwhelmingly voted for the Congress, in Telangana too, you will see the impact and you will see the minority community moving completely towards the Congress. That is the kind of trend that I am seeing on the ground today. And it's mostly yeah. because the minority community has, has is, you know, it's that, become clear to Bishop everyone. Mane... Just one second. Sorry, I'll just finish. It's become clear to mm -hmm. everyone that there is a tacit understanding between the BRS and the BJP.